Hey everybody, I've just cooked some scrambled eggs in a stainless steel pan and that's it afterwards. See how they haven't stuck? Let me show you. I did a video showing my eight year old how to cook fish fillets and how they don't stick in a stainless steel pan. And then Anthony asked how to cook scrambled eggs because he had a problem with them sticking and I feel like he's not alone. So let's have a go. A pan too hot and everything will stick and burn. A pan not hot enough and everything will stick. The key is preparation and having everything ready. So I've got my scrambled egg mix ready. I've got a plate ready to put it on. I've got my kokovo ghee, which I'm gonna use instead of butter today which by the way is New Zealand grass fed butter, coconut oil and avocado oil mixed together. So delicious. And my eggs are ready if I want to cook some more eggs, which I probably don't, but I've got some salt, I've got some pepper and I've got a spatula ready. Let's get the pan on the heat. I'm starting with a cold pan so you can see I can touch it. No problems at all. I'm now turning it on to a medium high heat. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to make my scrambled egg mix. All right, I've got a little bowl of water and a half teaspoon measure there. And what I'm looking for is to be able to hold my hand above the pan, not touching it, for about five seconds and then it would be too hot and I need to take my hand away. That's how I check it. But there is a fail-safe method where we use the water. And I'm going to show you, and that's called the mercury ball effect. So if I put water in now, you can see nothing's going to happen to it at all because the pan is not hot enough at all. And it's heated up a little bit more. I can start to feel some heat coming through. And I'll pop a teaspoon of water in there. Still, it's starting to little bubble away and it's going to evaporate. Not hot enough. If we put anything in there now, it will stick for sure. I'll just get rid of that water. Now, you've got a little time to hit the subscribe button. Have you ever done that before? A lot of you guys come to watch my videos via Facebook, but it really helps me out if people subscribe. It's free and it's not hard and you can hit the like button. You can leave a comment. So maybe think about that while we wait for this pan to heat up. Still, I can hold my hand there for ages. It's not hot enough at all. It's gonna take a little while. Right, we'll try again. Put it in, see it evaporates quite quickly, doesn't it? But everything will stick if the water does that. We need the water to literally float on top of the pan. If the water doesn't stick, then our food won't stick. It's as simple as that. Let's have another go. Now you can see there's some tiny balls coming up here, so we are getting closer. Have another feel here. So I don't normally do the water test, I do this with my hand. And just hold it just above the pan surface. And after I can hold it there for five seconds and then after that I can't. It's time to start cooking. I've got everything ready, that's key, because once the pan's the right temperature, we want to pop it in there. Again now. You see how we've got this ball? One ball. That is perfect. See, it's just gliding over the surface there. We're at exactly the right temperature. So we'll get rid of that. I'm going to turn the heat down a whisker. I'm going to get my Kokovo ghee in here, which will start melting. And what I want to do is just Lift the pan up and ensure that it is everywhere. There we go. And in go our egg mixture. And just leave it for a second or two. And watch this. Look how it doesn't stick. And we can just allow the egg to escape everywhere else to start cooking. Look at that. And I want creamy eggs, so it's important that I don't totally cook it because the heat of the egg will keep it cooking afterwards. So it's a little bit omelette but you can, I'm just trying to really demonstrate here how it just does not stick to the pan. And it's done. And look, just 
shuffle it off there and you've got cream egg and look at that pan nothing stuck to it shall we try a fried egg so whilst that pan is just heating up a little bit it's probably getting a wee bit hot there i'm going to crack the egg into a bowl don't crack it on the surface of on the corner crack it straight down like that and that way you'll get an even crack so again get some ghee in here Shuffle it around a little bit, there we go, and we will bring the egg right down to the pan, let's move in a little bit, there we go, I've got to use fresh eggs, I'm using these beautiful true eggs, which we sell at my deli, now let's have a look, See, not sticking at all. Now, if you wanted sunny side egg, eggs, I would put a lid on right now, but I kind of like them over easy. Hope that helps and I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.